from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello there, I'm James Tully. Greg D. watching a stormy day across the Bay Area. That's coming up, but first here are your top headlines. A driver died after crashing into an alligator in the road. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office says it happened on County Road 672 in Lithia around 1230 last night. The gator, 11 feet long, also was killed after hitting it. The car veered into a ditch and flipped. John Hopkins died at the scene. A passing driver spotted the crash and then alerted authorities. Tampa police now investigating three shootings in less than 36 hours. Two people found with non life threatening injuries in what police believe is a drive by shooting in the 1300 block of West Waters Avenue. This is near the Friendship Palms Apartments. Police are looking for a small gray vehicle involved in that shooting. Roughly a mile away, another shooting happened at the Haven at Waters Edge Apartments in Armenia. One person was found shot, but he should survive. The suspect ran away. Police say these two shootings do not appear to be related. And just Tuesday, a nine year old was shot at Robles Park in Tampa. A 15 year old facing charges in that shooting. He meant to shoot another teen he was arguing with. We're asking how the girl is doing. Tampa police told us yesterday afternoon that she was stable. Another honor coming today for the Florida Highway Patrol trooper who put her car in the path of an accused drunk driver. That driver slammed into her patrol car right there after driving through barricades and kept that driver away from thousands of runners in the Skyway 10K race. Today, St. Pete City Council will present her with the key to the city. She already received the key to Bradenton just days ago. There's a grand opening today for a new trail connector in Citrus County that includes an underpass at US 41. It's the Whitlacoochee Donellan Trail Connector in the Donellan area. Overall, the trail spans 46 miles from Citrus Springs to Dade City. And if you want hiking suggestions, you can join Sarah's Walking Club on Facebook to see ideas of places to walk all around the area. And Greg D, there are many, many places. Miles and miles of trails, really. And today, probably not the best day maybe to uh, get on some of those trails. Not because of the rain. I know many of you don't mind dealing with the showers. It's because we'll see lightning around. And that, of course, is a concern. It'll stay mild through the early afternoon. Then the temperatures start falling as a cold front moves by. As those temperatures fall, that's when we'll see some of our higher rain chances. Midday to the early afternoon as a large cluster of rain and thunderstorms comes in off the Gulf of Mexico. But it's all worth it, folks, because it sets us up for an absolutely incredible weekend ahead. I've got that forecast always posted on my Twitter feed at Greg D Weather. James. Thank you, Greg. Get all your news right here 24 seven on ABC Action News Plus.